The drought isn't just impacting crops. This stream on a farm in Rochester is normally several feet high with water, but the weather dried it up, affecting fish and other wildlife. Matthew Scruton has been farming his whole life. He grows hay, but like many others, drought has changed everything this summer. Usually we have a nice second cut this year. Our second cut simply hasn't come in because of the drought. Just a couple of days ago, he found dozens of fish struggling to survive in a mud puddle of his stream on Ten Rod Farm in Rochester. He scooped up as many as he could. Further upstream, there's a pool of water that hasn't dried up, so we dumped them in there. New Hampshire Fish and Game says fish are likely being affected by drought more than any other wildlife. I don't ever remember it being this dry for this long. And I've been I've been doing this for almost 28 years now, and it's 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 dry. Water in smaller ponds and brooks is heating up quicker, resulting in less oxygen for fish, and the issues could last into winter. If we don't get some significant rainfall by this, by the time things freeze up, these small ponds, especially the small ponds. Uh, it could have an effect this winter when we get ice. Fish and Game says there's also the potential of less food options for bears, forcing them to take risks. The bear might find themselves going into places that aren't appropriate, like garbage cans and campgrounds and stuff like that, to, to find a source of food just because their natural source of food is not as plentiful as it should be. Meanwhile, Scruton is hoping for rain, but says it's probably too late to salvage what he's lost. New Hampshire agriculture is a key uh, to the economy here in New Hampshire and the New Hampshire way of life and it's very unfortunate for all the farms that depend on the rain for their crops and their livestock as well that graze on those crops. If we don't get the rain we need, Fishing Game says the drought could force some wildlife to find alternate sources of water and that's exactly what has happened here at the farm in Rochester as deer used to use this stream but they've since moved on. In Rochester, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.